Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here excited and ready to check out one draft booster box of Commander Legends to celebrate what could have been a pre-release weekend here in the United States. But of course us here at Titan, we're making sure everyone stays safe and not having any pre-releases here in the shop. However, of course we will have Commander Legends draft boosters and collector boosters available next Friday for the official release as well as different singles as well. We do have some singles already up for pre-order on our TCG's player store. That link is in the description as well as links to our website for personal break pre-orders of collector boosters and draft boosters. But I'm excited to check this out. Bossman did open up some cases for those singles on, pre on TCG Player, as you may see. Uh, I haven't been able to open any, so I'm a bit jealous, and I'm excited to check this one out. Now, next Friday, we should be having a live case opening of draft boosters, and hopefully I'll be able to get in a case of collector boosters as well throughout this next week. But I'm excited to check this out. There are a lot of awesome cards in here. There's all those new lands that are reaching still about $8 to $10 a piece. Of course, Jeweled Lotus still around 90. You have things like Scroll Rack, Mana Drain, that black rare Rogue is like $32. There's a blue, there's a blue flash card that's $27. So there's a lot of value in here, and I'm hopeful that we can see some of those cards here tonight. But I'm ready to get on into it. I'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me talk about Commander Legends. Just want to see those cards. So let's go ahead and get into it by quickly snapping us into the corner, and I'll be opening up on the new Piper. Card. I, uh, I just checked it out. I think it's Prismatic Piper by Seb McKinnon. So we do have also a lot of these playmats in store. The past couple days I've been using the Sakashima playmat because this one's really cool. But you can't go wrong with Seb McKinnon. So I figured I'd switch it up and use his mat tonight for this draft booster box. But yeah, this weekend could have been pre-release weekend. I know some shops are still giving packs for pre-releases at home. Now there wasn't going to be a pre-release kit, pre-release for Commander Legends was going to be similar to last year's Modern Horizons. You just come in store, you get six packs and a promo. But hopefully for Modern Horizons 2, uh, the situation, everything will be better in the world and we can actually have pre-releases. I mean, hopefully before then we'd get to that point, but at least hopefully by Modern Horizons 2. Yeah, this pack is all, this box is all kind of messed up. <laughs> These packs are all over the place. Jeez, that does not look, that does not look conducive to pack fresh near mint. All right, let's check out this little flyer here. Command the draft. Commander Legends takes two fan favorite ways to play Commander and Booster Draft and mashes them up into a legendary play experience. Talks about the draft, build your deck, Prismatic Piper, and Command a Battle. Very cool. Draft archetypes on the back. Gives you the little guild, guild colors, essentially. And what type of creatures and how you don't want to play those different colors. That's interesting. Very good for new players or people like myself that aren't particularly good at the game but still like to try their best and enjoy it. So that's cool. I'll keep that for my future reference. Why not? It's not like sell it. Keep it. Keep it. But all right. 20 card draft boosters. So they are bigger than normal. But all righty. Still weird how these this box is oriented. Not sure if it's... I would think it's not supposed to be like that. But I was noticing when I was holding the box earlier that it felt like the stuff was sliding around on the inside. All right, let's not mess with that. Let's go on ahead and get on into pack number one. I know, three minutes into the video, I still haven't opened the first pack yet. But all right, here we go. Let's check out these cards. Hey, run away together. I remember playing that, uh, attempting to play it. Occasionally it would go off for the Throne of Eldraine pre-release. I had a mill deck. I would uh, run away together with the uh, that one merfolk. Mill four, except I want to use mill on my opponent. I don't use mill on myself, even though I think that's the way you're supposed to play it. Hey, blasphemous act, Kadama of the East Tree, Siani, Eye of the Storm, Viscera Seer, foil, and a soldier token. All righty, so I see there's a new configuration in the packs as well. So, oh yes, they do have those legendaries per pack. So I'm assuming that's why that. Uncommon was behind our two rares. All right, put foils here. All right, rares, foil rares, mythics, foil mythics if we get, regular foils. All right, here we go. I think our mat is configured in a way where everything can be on screen and still have enough room for all the piles. If I need to adjust it, I will. All right, pack number two. Arcane Signet, very nice. Port Razor is our first mythic. Keleth Sunmane Familiar, and Tuya Bearclaw. Staunch Throne Guard, and a Spirit Token. 
All right, so it looks like you're getting those two legendaries per pack. Just happen to get a legendary rare in pack number one. Sky Diamond, nice. Face Fetters, Pen and Blade, Armorcraft Judge, Nightshade Harvester, Tago, Halana, and Crushing Vines. Aw, that poor owl. Very cute owl. And the Monarch. A little token there. Also, with Commander Legends, Wizards did introduce those new gold etched foils. Hopefully we'll see one of those here in this box. I'd love to check that out in person. Command Tower. Hero's Blade. Undergrowth Stadium. Nice Golgari card there. Wrong pile. Oops, I've been putting rares in that mythic pile. We have Sengir, the Dark Baron. Abomination of Lanawar, and Supernatural Stamina Foil Common. Ooh, we had a Runaway, Fiery Cannonade, Opal Palace, Wrong Turn, Miara, Thorn of the Glade, Alharu, and Armory of Aroas, Zombie Token. Supreme Will, Aurora Phoenix, Obeka, Brute Chronologist, Hamza, Vow of Lightning, Foil, and we have the Prismatic Piper. Very cool. It's our playmat, so let's go ahead and read it. If the Prismatic Piper is your commander, choose a color before the game begins. The Prismatic Piper is that chosen color, and it has partner. You can have two commanders if they both have partner. And it does cost five. Alrighty. Give him his own pile, why not? I'm interested to see how prices continue for this set because, of course, being made for Commander, players only need one copy. Laboratory Drudge, Jared Carthalian, True Air, Kangi, Skywarden, and Goblin Trailblazer. So like I was saying at the beginning, there's a lot of expensive cards at the moment. Long term, though, I'm curious how card prices will stay. They'll go up, they'll go down, they're going to just stay where they are. Very curious to see long term how this set performs. Sky Diamond again. We have Jessica's Will, Dargo, Numa, the Speller's Capsule. Only one mythic so far in that port razor. Fire Diamond. I think that's uh, the only diamond we've seen besides Sky Diamond so far. Lots of Sky Diamonds. Humble Defector. A Vault of Champions. Zara, Renegade, Renegade Recruiter. And another Togo. Scrap Diver Serpent. Preordain. Nice common. Fire Diamond again. Moss Diamond. Now we're seeing some more diamonds here. Staff of Domination. Nice. Kesket and Radiant Sarah Archangel. We have that playmat as well. Maybe I can use that one next. Prying Eyes. I don't know. I just I really like the Sakashima playmat. That was probably my favorite out of the ones that we did get. I do think we were able to get one of each. However, it's possible that we did cut, get cut on one or two because we did order the playmats a bit late. The problem with pre-ordering playmats is you don't know what they are until pre-order windows already closed. So there were just some that had extra 
extras available. Immaculate Magistrate, nice here. Put a plus one, plus one counter on, on target creature for el each elf you control. Rhinolin, Moon Kraken. Ooh, Foil Mythic, Reshape the Earth. Very cool. Yeah, but I've been trying to convince Bossman to order more playmats. We were just selling playmats well when we had our in-store commander events. Of course, we're not having in-store events anymore. But hopefully we'll get to a point where we can reopen. Because that was super fun. We did have Thursday night commander. And everyone, it was just, you come hang out. There wasn't like a tournament or anything. It was just like free play commander. There'd usually be between like 20 and 30 people every week. Apex Devastator. And Bossman had this thing where if you spent at least five bucks, got free pizza. Ooh, we have an etched foil here. Anara, Wolvid Familiar. Ooh, I like the way that green looks. Ooh, that is nice. I like that. As long as your turn, commanders that you control have indestructible. And it has partner. That is really nice looking. Go ahead and set that soldier token off the side. And it looks like I'll just make some more room over here. We'll see how many etched cards we get per box. I would think it'd just be one. But I'm definitely not opposed to multiple. All right, here we go. Next pack. Do you have Elvish Dreadlord, Livio Oathsworn Sentinel, Palace Sentinels Foil? If all boxes are like this, however, I'm not too crazy about how Wizards just threw the uh, packs in there. My first inclination is that this box is just really jostled and the packs kind of are not where they're supposed to be, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they just are all like that. But I mean, I haven't seen any damage on any of the cards, which is nice. Speaking of nice, we do have a Vampiric Tutor. That's nice. Colfinor, the last U, and Acroma, Vision of Ixidor. Two Mythics in one pack. Definitely can't complain. Codex Shredder Foil. But yeah, Vampiric Tutors are still around $49. Nice. Nice box here so far, if I do say so myself. Let's keep going. See what else we can find. Rakshasa Debaser. Rebic. There's a playmat of that one as well. To you, boarding party, and another prismatic piper. We also were able to just start putting in our orders for the next upcoming standard set, Kaldheim, I believe is how it's going to be pronounced. If not, definitely let me know in the comment section down below so I can correct myself before it gets too late. Hey, Thought Vessel, nice uncommon. Triumphant Reckoning Mythic. Ancient Animus Foil. We did, of course, order a lot of that. And also, for other magic openings besides more Commander Legends coming this week, we did get in our Zenikar gift bundles. We'll be opening up one of those on Monday. Alrighty, what do we have here in this pack? We have Spectator Seating. Krark the Thumbless. Poor Krark has no thumb. Ghost of Ramirez the Petrio, and Make a Stand, Uncommon Foil. All right, I can't even say we're getting to the last row or so here. We're getting to the last kind of smushed pile in the box. Let's see what cool cards remain. No foil rares, but we have had a foil mythic. Run away together. Raise the alarm. We have Soul of Eternity, Gilanra, Collar of Wirewood, Miara, Thorn of the Glade, Slith Ascendant. First I thought that I thought that said Sith Ascendant. I'm like, whoa, that's the crossover I didn't know I needed. I mean, they're doing a Magic and D&D &D set. Much easier to do that since they're both owned by Hasbro. But imagine Magic and Star Wars, I'd be all over that. It'd be like really weird though, I don't know. I feel like I'd have mixed feelings. I mean, we already have, like, not good feelings about that Walking Dead secret layer. But... 
I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't hate it as much. I was never really a big Walking Dead fan. We have Slash the Ranks, Glacian, Cadis, and Molder Beast Foil. Another Monarch token. Let me just go ahead and take these packs out of the box. We do just have five packs remaining. Don't need that box. Get rid of it. All right, here we go. First of our last five packs. Give us some more sick rares and mythics, please. Crow of Dark Tidings, Charcoal Diamond. Three visit foils are like $10 a piece. What does three visits do anyway? Search your library for a forest card, put that card onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. You can see why. Very nice. Root Weaver Druid, Captain Vargas Wrath, Inara Wolven Familiar. Hey, we have another edge card. Alharu, Solemn Ritualist. That is cool. Human Monk. And a Prismatic Piper. Gift of Paradise. Marble Diamond. Thought Vessel, again, nice. Acroma's Will. Inara, Wolvid Familiar. Tormod. And Wild Size Foil. Elvish Visionary, Thorn of Black Rose. Oop, looks like I skipped an uncommon here. I did a Furnace Celebration, Blade Griff Prototype, Finclade Fugitives. Two packs to go. Wish they made a Jeweled Lotus playmat. Perhaps they did and we just didn't get one. I'd actually be pretty butthurt about that. We have Court of Ire. Felice. Easier. Aw, he's cute. Little owl. I like that. An owl with like Neopet ears. Interesting. Flood of Recollection. Prismatic Piper. And the last pack here. Can we get a Lotus? And we've already gotten a Vampiric Tutor. But can we get a Lotus in the same box? Preordain on the front. Not bad start here. Fire Diamond. Imperious Perfect. Nice. Course of Recruiter. Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn. Nice. Radiant Sarah Archangel. And Howling Golem Foil. And that will do it here for our first booster box opening of Commander Legends here on the Titan Cards channel. Now let me go ahead and straight up these piles. Then we'll get into a quick recap here. Did get two etched foils. One foil mythic. No foil rares. But we did get, like I said, two etched foils and a foil mythic. Did end up with four prismatic pipers in the whole box. For our two etched foils, we had Anara and Alharu. Foil mythic, reshape the earth. For our mythics, ended up getting a total of five non-foils out of the box. Port Razor, Apex Devastator, Vampiric Tutor, Acroma, Vision of Ixidor, and Triumphant Reckoning. Let's go through our rares as well. Got that unicorn in the last pack. Did also get some of those new lands, which are nice. Spectator Seating, Immaculate Magistrate, Staff of Domination, Vault of Champions, Undergrowth Stadium, Blasphemous Act. Did just get reprinted, but nice to see a Blasphemous Act. And then did get a foil, I believe, in every single pack. Let's take a look at all of our foils here, aside from that foil mythic and those etched foils. But it's nice seeing the one foil per pack once again here. But overall, I really enjoyed opening this booster box. Was thrown off guard when we did open it up and all the packs were a bit muffled. But like I said, when I was picking it up, it felt like the stuff was shaking around a bit. So definitely be careful with your boxes. I mean, if you're getting a box shipped to you, 
post off has already done whatever it's going to do to your box. You holding it and you know moving it around a little bit's really not going to do much. But that is a little bit interesting. We'll see as I continue to open continue to open more Commander Legends throughout the week how those boxes go. But overall, I thought this was pretty nice. Did get some nice Mythic here, especially in that Vampiric Tutor Apex Devastator. I know is about thirteen dollars last time I checked. Not sure on the others. Like I said, haven't been able to pull too many pre-orders. That's usually how I get myself familiar with the new sets. So I'm excited to be checking out more cards, interacting with you guys, hearing your guys' thoughts on this brand new magic set throughout the week as we open more. Like I said, should be a live stream of a full case of draft boosters this upcoming Friday, and I'll get some collector boosters, hopefully a full case of collector boosters throughout the week. But that is it for me here. So like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, we do have singles boxes of draft boosters and collector boosters available for pre-order. Those links will be in the description down below. If you are a Tampa Bay area local, we'd love to have you come stop by. We, are, of course, will have packs of each different type of box, boxes and singles available for the release date. And we do have quite the commander crowd here. So definitely, if you want to come meet some cool commander people, although we're not playing right now, um, we do have a Facebook group for Titan Cards Magic players. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I can put that in the description. Just let me know if that'd be something you want to check out. But I know once things get back to normal here, big, big, big Commander Night's coming soon. So that should definitely be exciting. But that is it for me here. Definitely quite a late night. Boss Man earlier this morning was like, hey, did you record the uh, did you record the Commander Legends box? And I was like, I didn't know that I could. So he definitely had me do it. So I did come back. I'm actually recording this on Friday the 13th. Spooky. Um, I did open up that Maximum Gold, Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Vivid Voltage Pokemon. So definitely a TCG day today, although I'm pretty sure this video is going to be going up around midnight on... That's just when YouTube has stuff scheduled. Midnight for the 14th. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have comments for me, let me know your thoughts on this box, this product. And if you... If you like it or you hate it, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I try to have fun magic videos. Didn't have that Liliana cosplay box opening of Ultimate Masters for Halloween. The Liliana stream. Always try to open up a lot of new product when it comes out. So I hope you guys stick around for more magic releases or even check out some of the past ones here on the channel. Channel did just start this past January with Theros Beyond Death. So unfortunately, if you're looking for older stuff, then that won't have it. But there are a lot of magic openings to be had here and enjoyed on the channel. So I hope you guys check out some more stuff. But that is it for me tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!